Alright, we're now there. Welcome to Conway, North Wales. Our estuary, lower course of the river, just before the river meets the sea. I'm here just underneath the castle walls in Conway, looking down towards the sea and the settlement called Llandidno. Uh, and about 800 metres to a kilometre over there is the open ocean just behind uh, that area of woodland. So the river here is at its widest point. Um, it is tidal. That means there's salt water here too. There's a huge amount of deposition going on. You'll see just over here, um, up against the uh, side of the fly over there, there's a huge amount of mud sediment. That's sediment that's been carried by the river from further upstream and deposited here. Um, generally the velocity of the river decreases um, as it hits the sea, as the tide comes in, um, and that can cause deposition uh, to occur too. So uh, velocity here is, is high, depth of the channel down there underneath the boats is high also um, and our last piece of video will be just in front of um, the uh, main estuary there. And here we are at our final location, that's Conway back there. You can see we're looking like more of a coastal landscape at the moment and we are looking out at sunset in August out to the Irish Sea, the place where the uh, River Conway meets, meets the sea. Uh, it's getting towards high tide at the moment. Um, velocity is pretty slow at the moment because of the high tide, the seawater pushing back in in this direction upstream, uh, halting the flow of the, uh, of the fresh water from the Conway Valley drainage basin. Um, but on low tide, as the tide turns in the next hour or so, that flow, that velocity will increase as the water is then moved back down out uh, to sea over there. So this is really where we leave the uh, freshwater fluvial system um, and we move on to study of coasts which we do um, at GCSE and IGCSE down at the International School of Toulouse. So signing off on this very beautiful evening in North Wales with a view across to the Great Orm.